Eating healthily during pregnancy is important for your baby's growth and to help you to stay fit and well. As your body is more efficient in using the energy and nutrients from food when you're pregnant, you don't have to eat for two. As we know, tastes can often change during pregnancy and it can be a real challenge to find recipes that are both nutritious and palatable. So here's food writer and presenter Silvana Franco with a tasty recipe idea to get us inspired. I'm in the kitchen today with Marie Claire and we're going to be making a sweet potato soup with halloumi and mixed seeds. Now Marie Claire, you're 20 weeks pregnant with your first child. Yeah. How are things going? Really good so far actually, I've been very lucky, no sickness or anything. Um, the only trouble I have been having is I have been getting a bit tired. Right, so we're going to be making a soup which is a great thing to make because you can prepare it ahead. And it's also good, you can freeze portions of it. If you're feeling like you don't want a large portion, you can freeze smaller portions and then reheat what you like. Also, you can have it ready for you if you come home from work. Now I'm going to start by putting a little bit of chilli oil. It's olive oil that's been infused. Like, how are you with chilli oil? Chilli is fine. Um, I have had a few bits of indigestion with some other spices, but I have had no trouble with chilli. OK, and if you do later on, you can just use normal olive oil, it would be absolutely fine. I've got some leeks here, I'm going to pop those into the pan and they need to cook just for a few minutes until they start to soften. Let me just give them a quick stir. So, Marie Claire, you like soup, don't you? I do, I do. I think the thing is you have to have variety though, you can't have the same thing all the time. Yeah. But um, soup is, is nice. What sort of vegetables have you been putting into yours? I, I just put anything that I have in the fridge, but I try to make the soups as different from one another as possible. Right, so you enjoy it differently yeah. each time. Is there anything that you've really not wanted to eat, or have you been fine? No, I've been fine with all vegetables, really. I've been quite that's, lucky. So that's great. So it's easy for you to get your five a day in. Very easy for me. So next I'm going to add some sweet potatoes, and they are going to thicken the soup really nicely. And also, they're another one of your five a day. So in they go. So what about the fact that you can eat for two during pregnancy? That would be great, wouldn't it? Wouldn't um, that be lovely? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not quite like that. No. Um, I've been told that you're only actually allowed an extra 200 calories, but that's only right at the very end. That's right, it's for the last three months that you should up it. And 200 calories is really not very much. It's barely anything. It's, it's a couple of pieces of toast. Yeah, half an avocado, a couple of biscuits. So nothing like as much as you might not imagine. Not at all, not at all. Now I've got some warm stock, I'm just going to pour that in and then we'll pop the lid on. Our vegetables should be nice and tender now, so I'm going to add some chickpeas. Now, chickpeas are a source of fibre and they also contribute to one of your five a day. Also, they're quite a good source of iron. And has that been an issue for you? Actually, yes. When you go and see your midwife, they're always taking blood and things, and I did show up low in iron, so this would be really handy for me. So, so you're going to up your pulses and your peas and beans? And the meat, yeah. yeah and the meat too, yeah, of course. Now, um, while that's warming through, would you just slice up that halloumi for me? We just want some small dice. And halloumi's uh, fine for pregnancy because it's been pasteurised, and also this version that we're using is reduced fat. And we're just going to use this to make a nice topping to go on top of the soup. So we can prepare it now so that when you're ready to eat it, it's all ready to go. I'm just going to give our soup a little puree. So how does that look? About right? Looks great. Now in this pan here, I'm just going to turn that on. And then let's just get the halloumi in there. It only needs a minute. In that goes. Now I'm just going to add some seeds. I've got some mixed seeds here. They've got pumpkins and sunflower and some sesame and linseed. I'm going to scatter those in. They only take a few seconds really. Seeds are a really good thing to snack on because they're a source of omega-3. It's important for the baby's brain development in the later stages of pregnancy. So yeah, it's a good thing to snack on if you quite like them. Yeah. So we are basically ready to go. Our soup is cooked and warmed, so whenever you want to serve it, just ladle it into a bowl. Mm -hmm. Spoon over a little bit of these lovely seeds and warm halloumi. And a little bit of parsley and then you're ready to serve. And that is our delicious sweet potato soup with halloumi and mixed seeds. That soup looked really tasty and it's a simple recipe to use when you haven't got much time. So just to recap on the key messages for eating healthily during pregnancy. Try to eat a varied diet so that you and your baby are getting all the nutrients that you need. Your midwife will have advised you on folic acid supplements and it's important to eat foods rich in iron, calcium and omega-3 too. We've just seen that three tablespoons of nuts and seeds can provide you with your daily omega-3 requirement and it's a great alternative to oily fish. Click here for more healthy eating tips and recipes.